What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there crushing the tables. Today, we are going to take a look at yesterday's cash game sessions. Got in about 3,700 hands. Let's take a look at some of the interesting spots from yesterday's sessions. First hand we're looking at is ace queen on the button. We are sitting at a 100 NL table. We get an open raise from under the gun plus one to two X and we get a call from the cutoff. I just make a call here on the button being in position against two recreational players. We have 180 hands on the player under the gun plus one and 73 on Charlie cat to our right folds through the blinds and we see a flop in position against these two non-regular players and flop top two pair checks to the cutoff who bet six dollars a little bit less than the pot i just call here with top two pair i don't want to give away too much on the value of our hand quite yet and we get check raised by the under the gun plus one player this one could wind up much like that hand a couple videos ago where we flop top two and we get beat by a set and if that happens again it's pretty rough but what are you going to do about it that is a cooler and especially when you're in a pot with a player who is a non-reg and has numbers like 42% raise preflop and 49 VPIP we get a call from the cutoff and now we're in a spot where we have a choice either to jam our chips all in into a 4750 pot we've got 54 here and 89 in Charlie cat stack if we raise here it's gonna make it very expensive for a draw to get in but they probably still would be getting pretty good odds on a draw so we can probably induce some mistakes when we raise here especially from these recreational players so i decided just to jam in here sin incarnate is getting better than two to one if he has a draw i expect him to make a call if he has something like eight queen which i really didn't expect to see but i'll take it i thought maybe ace eight would be in his range but i guess a 49 percent vpip does include some eight queens so there's one call there's now 196.50 in the pot and charlie could come along as well he's getting about 2.5 to 1 right now but does make the fold and we are dominating sin incarnate right now all we need to do is avoid an 8 turn is a 4 no help to sin incarnate and the 10 of spades does not help him and we take down the pot of 163.50 that was a big hand for us i have a feeling those cards might have hit some of the draws that charlie cat could have been chasing could be kicking himself right Right now but we take it down now we have ace king offsuit in the big blind we are playing five-handed right now we get an open raise from the cutoff to 2x and a three bet from charlie cat on the button to six dollars and we get a call from the small blind we don't really want to be playing ace king out of position here and charlie cat has already shown that they are a recreational player so i make it 22 to go and we get a call from charlie cat flop is king high we have top pair top kicker backdoor nut flush draw and backdoor low straight draws i check back with top pair top kicker because it is a very strong hand against this player's range and Charlie cat puts in 2470 on the flop I just call turn is the seven of clubs I thought we had Charlie cat pot committed right here and we could get him to pretty much chase anything if he had any club in his hand if he had any pair with a club he would chase that as well I could have checked back and I probably should have checked back I think this was a mistake he has a 71% bet on turn percentage instead I jam all in and he does make the fold i now in hindsight wish i would have check called this turn i don't really know what accomplish what that bet on the turn really accomplishes bit of a mistake there i would have played it differently had i gone back that's what you get when you're multi-tabling i guess i just thought he was pot committed and he would be chasing any draw that he had there now we're at the 50 nl table we have ace five of spades in the big blind under the gun open raises to 3x and we get a call from the hijack player i make the call with ace five and we see a flop of eight high two tone two spades we have the nut flush draw and we have a lot of backdoor draws to straights as well as possible draws to an ace 
Sin Incarnate again in this pot. Checks back and we get a bet from the hijack player. I put the check raise in right here with a semi bluff, not flush draw, and we get a jam from Sin Incarnate. Back to us, we know that he's willing to put his entire stack in with two pair. There is $63 in the effective stack. We have 41 in ours, so we're getting about 1.5 to one odds right here. We're looking pretty good if he has any pair over the board or if he has two pair. We're not looking as good, but looking pretty decent to the flush draw there's the chance he also has a flush draw in which case we have him dominated so i decided to make the call here and see that we we're up against top set not a very good spot to be in especially when he turns that fourth eight now we are drawing dead and we lose a pretty big pot right there to sin current he got some of it back now we have ace jack offsuit in the big blind at the 50 nl table again full drawn to the button who open raises to 3x and we get a call from the small blind i three bet here on the button we get a call from the button and the small blind folds see a flop of ace high two tone two spades on the board merkin chief is a recreational player from what we've seen so far there's only 39 hands on this player has a tendency to play quite a bit pre-flop 28 percent vpip i just checked back with the ace high flop seeing that he has a 57 percent bet on flop percentage and he does bet pretty small though i just call the turn is the six of spades the only part of his range that this really hits is the king queen queen jack maybe 10 jack of spades i think there's a lot of ace x of spades possibly in his range so he could have a flush draw or a big flush draw now so i check back he bets 1250 and i just call here and we hit top two on the river he has 28 24 in his stack all of that money is going to get in the pot if we check and he bets with a flush if he does have ace x he can probably make a call here with that 28 24 he might call with an under pair less than aces when we jam right here as well we see that he has a zero percent so he's pretty much going to hold on to his entire range here on the river and he has a zero percent bet on river as well so if he does bet he's only going to be betting with hands that beat us so let's try to get value from the hands that we have beat having top two pair here and hands that beat us are only a small percent of his range so i jam all in and we do get called with a set of eights unfortunately losing that pot but i am not upset with the way we played it i thought we played it pretty well let me know what you guys think about this hand and if you thought the thought process was sound or if i should have been playing this one differently let me know in the comment section below what you guys would have done in this situation now we have pocket nines at the 100 nl table playing from under the gun plus two open raised to 3x and we get three bet by the cutoff it is a min three bet it's a two dollar raise here and i see that this player has only three bet 1.2 percent of hands you guys you know what that's gonna be right aces and kings especially when you see that min three bet from a short stack you know it's a huge hand it's a strong hand so what do we have to figure out whether we get odds to stack this entire player it's two dollars to win a possible fifty dollars here that's 25 to one odds we should be getting at least 15 to 1 for set mining so i'm putting in the ctc play the call to crack let's see that nine oh yeah top set now this hand just got a lot easier to play we know what he has and we know we have him dominated so we're gonna let him spew out his entire stack here check call now we have a full boat check he puts in 1650 he's only got 1968 left no way he's gonna be folding his aces or kings here so i jam all in and he does make a call have to avoid an ace on the river and we do and take down a pot of almost a hundred bucks open up that three bet range and maybe do a little bit larger of a bet next time so you're not giving me odds to call right there pocket queens in the small blind open raise to 2.5x from under the gun we are currently six handed at the 100 nl table we get a three bet from the cutoff the cutoff is very short stacked right now at 32 10 in his stack i put in a four bet here with the pocket queens out of position if we just call here we're gonna give gargantua very good odds to call as well and we are going to be playing out of position against him so let's find out where we stand right now by putting in a four bet and we get gargantua to fold and the cutoff jams all in we make the call fours against queens great spot 
Have to avoid a four. We hit a queen and take down that pot of 65 bucks. Thank you for the donation. Now we have pocket aces in the small line at the 100 NL table. Open raise from the cutoff to 2x. Three bet to $7. And, and the cutoff jams all in. Easiest play ever with the aces. Click that call button. Jacks against aces. Have to avoid a jack. Got two queens out there. Ten on the river doesn't help. And we take down that pot of 72 bucks with the aces over over the jacks. Head down to the video description for links to America's Card Room, Hold a Manager, and all the other poker products that I use on a daily basis. If you guys are not using any of these products, you are falling behind the competition. Click that subscribe button if you guys have not done that yet. I know a lot of the people viewing these videos have not subscribed yet, so click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future poker action and instructional videos. Click the gear button on the channel page and turn on your notifications so that you guys don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos or streams. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Head over to America's Card Room and I will see you guys out on the virtual felt.